I promised myself that I wouldn't go overboard. Yeah, I kind of went overboard. So this is the new place that we have. And we didn't get very far last time with Agnes in trying to woohoo Vlad or have science babies with him. So I decided that I was going to do another episode with her and try to get some more money. And I redid her house so that it's a little bit better and it also has less of the debug items. And when I was redoing the lot, I discovered that terrain paint is glitching my game right now for some reason. I cannot use terrain paint because if I do, then my screen, it, it gets all flickery and I can tell it's the terrain paint doing it. So I decorated with debug plants and Again, I tried to be a little conservative, but then I spent way too long doing this. So anyway, it looks really nice, but oh, whoops, I have this computer over here. This is not supposed to be over here. All right, now she's very uncomfortable and I can't have her watering plants. All right, well, that's fine. So thanks to Eric Sherling, I have decided to do this series in the first place. So I'm going to do another episode of this since we didn't get very far and we'll try and see how far we can get this time. So if you're new here, my name is Charity and this is the seven infant werewolf vampire challenge or the cursed infant challenge. So basically Agnes Crumplebottom is a werewolf and she has all of the bad traits in the game that conflict with Vlad's traits. And the goal is to convince Vlad to have a baby. So we will be trying to do that. And the first thing that we need to do is earn some money. Well, unfortunately, one of Agnes's werewolf temperaments is that she wants to be awake during the night, which is when I don't have very good lighting, but that's okay. We're just talking to Idri and trying to get our charisma skill up and also working on our fear of unfulfilled dreams. So she wants to fulfill a want and one of the wants is to socialize, which we finally did. So now we'll just talk about dreams, even though Idri just hates us. Well, apparently we can't talk about fulfilling dreams with someone that hates us. Okay. Okay, well, apparently there's nothing we can do with Ghidri. All right, well, we'll have to find someone else that will talk with us about fulfilling wants. Well, she was able to make friends with this person here, Angela Pleasant. Maybe we'll ask her to be in the club or maybe we can't because it's full. I'm going to actually kick out Caleb and Lilith because they hate me and I don't really care. Okay, that's level four of the charisma skill. I'm not sure how high our charisma needs to be in order to patch up things with Vlad. I would think probably level 10. It's going to be really difficult to be able to talk to him. Maybe we should just see where we're at because we're just completely despised by having a gathering, but not in the middle of the day. We'll wait for nighttime. Well, this is interesting. Hi, Agnes. I'm hosting a secret lampoon party. It's a private gathering of the best of the worst. Your awful reputation is so notorious around these parts that we'd love to have you as a guest. Please say you'll join us. Well, this is interesting. I'm rampaging right now, so obviously great timing. But I've never had another sim actually invite me to one of the planable events in the calendar, I'm going to go just because I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, so it's a lampoon party. Who is the guest of honor? I'm just a regular guest, I think. And then we have Clement Frost, who is the host. I don't know why he would have a really bad reputation. You can't throw these parties unless you have an atrocious reputation. So weird, but okay. Well, what is the goal of the party? Because I know you're supposed to roast whoever the special guest is, but I don't know who the guest is. But there's a comedian and a mixologist. And a couple of guests. Well, at least one guest. Let's try to make friends, I guess. 
Even though we're very angry, I don't think she's going to make any friends here. Let's make sure Clement Frost is on our social bunny first, though. Because then if we get any negative relationship with him and we don't want negative relationship, we can actually repair it. Oh yeah, I might want to take a bath. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of guests, but I don't see any guest of honor. Usually there is a sim of honor or a roasting sim. I'm not sure what it's called because I've never really had one of these parties for myself. Okay, I'm not sure if anything is really happening. She's just talking to people and people are showing up, but I don't see any specific guest that is supposed to be the target of the roast. And it's almost half over, so I think I'm going to just leave. Okay, we'll start a gathering and maybe we'll get Vlad to join us in our chess game. No, we want to play with Vlad, not with you, Lily. Sorry, Lily. Can you not play? I only have one chess table, though, so they're going to fight over it if I put that as a club activity. And then hopefully I can keep her from talking to anyone, because what happens is Vlad will sometimes make these hissing sounds, which kind of negates their friendship. But I'm hoping if he's sitting here playing chess that we'll get occasionally a little bit of a friendship plus. Okay, we're getting some kind of plus. Hopefully it's not with Lily. I'm hoping that if I keep her talking to Lily, she will... Oh, why are you here? Anyway, if I keep her talking to Lily, then she won't be mad at Vlad. Well, he's doing his hissing thing, which unfortunately makes us not friends. Okay, since we're in a club gathering, we can kind of give these little social bonuses that increase the chances that a friendly social while in a club gathering will succeed. So I'm hoping to get those eventually. Oh, and we're having an earthquake or volcano eruption. That's a great thing to do. Oh, there's the volcano. Well, I'm going to have to go to sleep. Let's try giving Vlad a regular gift. Sometimes, if they like the gift, you will actually get a positive interaction out of that. We have to run away if he starts hissing. No, he didn't like the gift? Come on! What if I give you some sacred candles? Do you like those? It looked like he liked them. Okay. The sacred candles worked, but still, we're still not very good friends. We're actually worse friends with him now. Oh, no, that did a... Okay. It just took a while. You had to wait, and the friendship bar refreshes, and now we're not quite so despised, but it's still pretty bad. So we just have to find gifts that he likes. Okay, I'm going to give him a flower arrangement okay. gift of Duelist Dragons. I'm not sure if the type of flower matters. I couldn't scent it with anything because I don't have a chrysanthemum. Um, well, I'm not sure. I think he liked it. It looked like he liked it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe I should find a flower arranging gift that isn't the Duelist Dragons. I mean, he looked like he liked it, but it also gave me a bad reputation hit, which I'm not sure why. Can I bribe you for friendship yet? I thought that that was an option if I had a bad reputation, but I don't see an option for him. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, so if I give him a thousand simoleons, will that help? I'm not sure how much it will help. Oh, I got a golden frog! I love dust bunnies. Okay, I can bribe him for friendship several times, and we can also try for a science baby several times if we get him liking us enough. Come on, Vlad, you're evil. I can bribe you, right? Okay, that did not make much of a difference. Let's try it again. Come on, Vlad, like me. I just need to get you to neutral. Okay, almost there. Maybe one more time? 
I think gift giving is the best approach. I tried playing chess with him and it didn't seem like our friendship was increasing because we weren't talking. Oh no. Now he doesn't like me. Great. Oh, come on. You're a bad person, Vlad. You should be able to be bribed for friendship. Okay, we're just disliked. We're not despised. So, hopefully that's okay. Maybe if I give him a gift, I don't know, maybe an avocado will help. I could give him a gift of just simoleons, but I think maybe the bribe for friendship will work better. Oh, he's not feeling good. It's daytime. We have to call this off soon. I think I'm going to have to start again tomorrow night. I have to end the gathering because he's going to die in the sun and I don't want him to die. We basically almost erased our entire enemy bar. So we're doing pretty good. It looks like we're just acquaintances now. Yes, we are just acquaintances. But it's not slightly positive. So in order to add someone to Social Bunny, you actually need this bar to be anywhere in the green. You cannot have any red at all. Yeah, see, I don't have the option to add Vlad any sort of green, even if it's a little sliver like this one, will allow you to add them to Social Bunny. Did we get enough to increase our... No, we didn't even get enough to increase the friendship socials. Oh, well. Maybe tonight. Okay, let's try bribing Vlad one more time for friendship, and hopefully this works. I am really close to going berserk, though. No, she's not. Well, it's a little bit furious, but not too much. Come on. No, come on. I guess the closer we get to being friends, the worse he takes that for some reason. Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, let's make a flower arrangement. I guess I have to plant some flowers first, though. I bought some flowers from the flower shop, so I do now have a chrysanthemum. But I'm going to plant one so I only have one. And I need to plant all of these. And I'm going to put them in my garden somewhere. Okay, I can finally purchase the friendly bonus, which will make us more likely to be able to succeed with friendly socials. Okay, let's try giving him a flower arrangement gift instead of bribing him with simoleons. I couldn't send it though because it wasn't excellent quality. So he liked it oh we might just barely be there's no green but it's neutral is that enough no it is not enough okay i have to give him at least one more thing maybe if i give him a picture of myself because that's what i have i don't want to give him too much if it's not going to work Watch, I bet this won't work, and he'll be back to hating me. Come on, Vlad. You have to like me just a little bit so I can add you to Social Bunny. Okay, it looked like he liked it. Okay, quick, pause the game. Okay, I have a little bit of a green bar. Now I can add him to Social Bunny, and then whenever I screw the relationship up, I can easily fix it. Ah, now we can be best buddies, Vlad. Look at that. You're on Social Bunny. I wonder how long it's going to take them to nerf this one. They nerfed the photo one, and the photo one would work even if you were enemies. So that one was terrible. But this one, you at least have to have a little bit of a friendship before you can add them. And then if you become enemies, you can fix it. Okay, we'll ask him to have a science baby because we have plenty of money. So I don't want to try building a romantic relationship with him because I'll have to be pregnant anyway. Oh, and he hissed. And we're already down a little bit. Okay, but we are having a science baby. So this is our first science baby attempt with Vlad. And we have a girl. Her name is going to be Shauna. And we have another girl. Her name is going to be Nora. Now we are on ley line, so I knew that we would get multiples. And I did that to save money and to save time because I need to have seven at once. Okay, we have triplets, Vance, and triplets it is. Okay, so we have the first three. Now it would be nice if we could get all of these bassinets filled in one go before Vlad leaves. 
So let's try to immediately ask him again and see if he'll do it. Where did you go, Vlad? You disappeared on me. You went over here to play chess again. Okay. Okay, we have a boy whose name is Johnny. It's a weird name to spell Johnny, but okay. And then we have Cullen, a boy. And another boy, Burgess, I think. Oh, and a girl, Catalina. So that's it. We just had to do it twice. Um, no, 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 no. Why? Why is this one an alien? How did that happen? Okay. Um. Not sure why we got an alien baby. That is strange. And, and none of these babies like Agnes. Okay, this these three do. Maybe I have to let it load for a little bit. No, these these babies don't like Agnes for some reason. That is very strange. Well, anyway, we have our seven babies. All right, everybody can go home. You guys can leave in the gathering. And now the real work starts. Oh, wait, we got the be funny in crowded places. Oh, but we do we have the crowded? Yes, we do have the crowded ones for too many Sims for 10 hours. OK, we need to be funny. With three Sims. Because then we can get rid of that fear. OK, and the reason why we got four babies on that last try is that we are actually playing with MC Command Center setting the offspring count to six or the maximum offspring count to six i did that because i really didn't want to try multiple times to have science babies i figured once it worked that it should work all the time and then we can just save a little bit of money by not having to do it three times or four times all right time to make the rounds we're going to bounce the babies feed the babies and change the babies if they need it okay here's the he's so cute but there's no option to send this one back to the home world and i guess maybe that's because this one was not born through an alien pregnancy i have no idea how cullen ended up a did i name one of them cullen i don't remember that name I remember Johnny. Maybe my memory is just going, but I do not remember that name coming up. Why are you feeding them? I just fed them. They don't need to be fed. Okay, I have done a little bit of building and I basically made this one more tile wider. And then I put a staircase over here near the entrance. So we do have an upstairs now and it you can't see very much because these lights turn off as soon as I come out of build mode. So if we turn on all of the lights. OK, so if we turn on all of the lights, you can see up here that this is just going to be bedroom space. I'm not going to put up a wall or doors or anything. We're just going to have beds up here and then downstairs. We're going to have this little living area might expand and become just one big dining room downstairs, a dining room and a kitchen. And then we have the bathroom up here at the front of the house. So for right now, we have Agnes and seven newborns. OK, I have switched this to normal lifespan. So that means that the newborns will have their birthday tomorrow on Friday. And so on Friday, we will age all of these newborns up to infants. And then starting on that day, once they are all infants for every day, we're going to adopt a newborn, an infant, a toddler, or a child, and we will randomize those. So it will cost us a thousand simoleons every time we adopt a kid. And we will have to increase our household size. But I think that will make this seven infant challenge a little bit 
more involved because if we get children, they will be able to help out. But if we get infants, toddlers, or newborns, then we are going to be in trouble. So basically, we will continue doing that until all of these infants are teenagers. And once a child becomes a teenager, I'm going to say that they can move out. So this is going to be like an orphanage. And we're going to do a lot of adoptions. And right now we have a lot of babies who have dirty diapers. So we'll go ahead and change the dirty diapers. Oh, Agnes is becoming more of a social insider and isn't struggling with socially awkward situations as much these days. So she's going to switch from socially awkward to insider. This doesn't really help us now that we're not trying to have babies with Vlad, but I guess maybe we'll do this just because it popped up. Oh, it's the infant's birthdays. Okay, so we're going to try and age them up. Okay, so Friday I am not adopting a baby. So happy birthday to all of the children. Shauna is going to be calm. And now it's Nora's turn. Nora is going to be wiggly. Happy birthday, Vance. Vance is going to be cautious. And happy birthday, Johnny. Johnny is going to be cautious. All right, happy birthday, Cullen, my little alien. Okay, Cullen is going to be sunny. And happy birthday, Burgess. Burgess is going to be intense. And happy birthday, Catalina. And Catalina, I guess, is going to be sensitive because that's the only one we haven't had yet. All right, so we have all of our infants here. Okay, now I put all of the cribs in the room. We have to put all of the infants to bed. I'm going to try to feed them first. Vlad would like to come over and hang out. Um, sure, Vlad, I guess that's okay. It's going to mean that he probably hates us, but at least he can see his kids. Although I just realized it is the middle of the day, so hopefully he doesn't die. Yeah, Vlad, go inside. Please go inside. Come on, the ghosts are stopping him from going inside. That's not good. Why are you not eating? Are you a picky eater? Okay, you hate being held, but so far you're not a picky eater. But he was refusing to eat, and he's so hungry. Oh, you also have a birthmark. That's interesting. I've never seen them actually age up with birthmarks, but this is a disguise. So he's an alien. I d no, he's a werewolf. Okay, this is the alien. Okay, so wrong one. Cullen is the alien and Burgess is a werewolf. Oh, Eleanor. Yeah, I do be happy to have you. I really need some help with the infants because unfortunately, um, I have a werewolf for their caretaker and she can't do anything when her fury is high. She cannot feed them. So sure, you can come. But I think that means I have to give her a bedroom upstairs. Why do they always ask to be put down? I don't get this. Come on, you guys have to stay in your cribs. I need to introduce myself to Eleanor. Stop it. This infant will not stop asking to be put down. I don't understand why they always do this. You cannot keep them in the crib. Okay, we need to introduce Eleanor to all of the babies. Because for some reason, Eleanor doesn't know anybody and I don't know Eleanor, which is weird. Okay, let's try introducing Catalina to Eleanor so that Eleanor will know at least one of the infants. Come on, stop crying. I'm trying to help you. If you don't stop crying, this is not going to work. Come on. No, no, don't go pick him up and you stop crying. <laughs>
Okay. Go here. No, you're not picking him up. I am locking that door. She's going to one by one pick them all up as they wake up out of the crib. No. Check that infant. Help that infant. But you are not going in that room. Okay. And now she's going to transform. If you hadn't tried to take all the infants out of the cribs and you hadn't tried to cry Catalina I would have been able to introduce you to Eleanor and you would have been fed but no now you have to wait because I didn't regain control all right well I guess we will unlock the store well no I can't even unlock the door anymore well, maybe one of the infants can do it. <laughs> All right. I unlocked it. I don't think any of the infants know Eleanor, though. So that's not going to work. Okay. For some reason, when she's rampaging, she can still take those infants out of the crib and put them down. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. You're going to be outside. There's nothing I can do to help you, though. Oh, don't do that. Come on now. I did not tell you to be there. You see, Johnny? Never ask to be placed down outside when your mom is rampaging. Uh, I can't even pick you up and put you back inside. See? Can't do anything when I'm rampaging. It's only if the infant asks... Or something and the infant can't ask for something either so I don't know well now it's an earthquake I don't know how he was able to get her to put him outside okay get out of that room get out of that room I don't want you in there okay she's out of the room I know you're hungry but I need to introduce Eleanor to, let's see, maybe to Catalina? No. Stop complaining. Stop fussing. Okay, normally Eleanor knows all of your kids when she comes over. But for some reason they glitched and she didn't know any of them. So yeah, now you can have her. And I will help him. Do you need something to eat? Yes, you do. Did you just hand her back to me? You did. Why did you do that? I thought you came over to help me, Eleanor. Okay, we're going to feed Cullen. And then, hey, Gidri, you are not allowed to take baths in there. Get out of my bathtub. Well, we're going to go in here and make you leave. Okay, if I repeatedly coo at Eleanor, will that introduce me to her? It does. Okay, now I can get fed by her. Good. <laughs> now she knows two of the infants at least. Okay, it's Saturday morning, but I'm going to say that we're not going to adopt anyone today so we'll give the infants one more day of having agnes all to themselves and then what we'll do starting on sunday because it makes it easier for me to keep track of is we'll roll and see if we're going to adopt a newborn an infant a toddler or a child and if we happen to get a newborn we don't have to adopt any more children until that newborn ages up to an infant. So we will have to add more people to the household, but I think it'll be fine since we are on normal lifespan now instead of long lifespan. Okay, cleaning mold piles normally interrupts everything else and cancels your entire action cue, but not when she wants to take one of the infants out of the crib. Why is that? And he's tired too. Why is he not in the crib? Put you to sleep.
Vlad, you want to come over again? Okay, sure, you can come over. You know all of the kids. No! No, Vlad, I wasn't watching. You were outside. Why were you outside? Oh, that's not fair. Well... I was hoping he would help a little bit more, but I guess he's not going to be around, is he? Come on. We gotta plead for him. Stop talking to the kids. Stop talking. Just plead. Go plead. Hurry. Before, <laughs> before the Grim Reaper takes Vlad away, let's see if we can fix this. Are you going to let me have him back? Okay. Thank you. All right. So we brought Vlad back to life, but we have to get him inside before he dies again. No, don't play with the kids. We got to get Vlad to go inside because I don't think it helps his... Um... Yeah, he's going to be burning right away. Come on. I guess we're just going to have to send him home. Well, if I send him home, he's going to have to walk too far. The problem is he needs to recharge his energy and he never does. That's the problem with vampires is that they won't recharge their energy when they're not being controlled by another player. Okay, come on. Let's go inside, Vlad. No, don't do that. Come on, forget the infants. Okay, he's got his umbrella at least. Lock this door. Vlad is going to die if I don't talk to him and get him to go inside. Come on, Vlad, come inside. Why aren't you coming inside? Fine, I'm just going to send you home. You're useless. You're talking to death. Well, come on. Grim, stop talking to him. He's going to burn to death again. Pretty sure it's still daytime. Okay, this is stupid. Why aren't you leaving? Okay, finally he leaves. Okay, we can't invite Vlad over. I mean, he's supposed to come over during the nighttime, not during the daytime. Okay, I have kind of done the upstairs a little bit better and put every crib in its own tiny little room. Because I think that's the only way we're going to fix this. Okay, and then we're going to have to get each one of them upstairs and maybe you should try and use your diaper and then get put to bed by Ghidri. I can only get Agnes to put you to bed. Fine. Well, we'll probably turn this downstairs room into more of an eating room and then move all the kids up here. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas about what else I can do with the series. But I think for now what I'm going to do is try the adoption thing and make this a little bit more interesting than just raising these seven infants. Because that to me is just a little bit too boring once they're all born. The hard part was getting all the money to build the house. And then getting Vlad to have science babies with us. And now that we've done that, I don't know what else that we could really do other than try to make this a little bit more interesting. You can also leave a comment to vote on whether or not we adopt a newborn, an infant, a toddler, or a child. You can also say random. And then I'll take the top seven most voted comments and we'll do that for next episode if I happen to get seven comments. Now, if I don't get enough, we'll just do random for the rest of them. Leave me some comments, Simmers. I need your help on this. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.